Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, 43. <laughs> Halloween is this Saturday, and for the last of Katie's Science Lab of the spooky season, Katie Blake has yet another fun Halloween experiment. So she joins us live now in the studio to show us how to make a fog machine. But Morning. first things first, check out the earrings. Yeah. Let's dim the lights. Yay! Ooh. Halloween there are spirit. Yes, courtesy of ah. HEB. Thanks, HEB. There are several modes you can change the lights, but I can't do it now that I got my gloves on. But right. yeah. Those are cool, and Pretty you said cool. they were only I forgot to pick you up a pair, David. Sorry. And they probably have some left. Yeah. I'll get you I some. I love them. Would you warn them, David? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll that's warn them trick-or-treating, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, here we go. All right. Really excited about this one. So, yeah, you don't need to go buy a electronic fog machine. You can do it yourself at home. Involve the kids. This is going to be fun. Here is what you are going to need. You're going to need some warm water. You're going to need dry ice because we are working with the dry ice we need adult supervision for this and well, everyone here, right? and everyone needs to have proper gloves on um, we'll talk a little bit more about that some dish soap some shoelaces and a large container so we have all of that right here i've got my dry ice in the cooler bag if you're going to do this make sure you go get the dry ice on the day of because it will only hold for a few hours before it's before it doesn't become usable anymore. So we've got the dry ice here. And again, the thing with dry ice, so technically it's not ice. So we know ice as frozen water, right? Well, this is frozen carbon dioxide. You can even feel it. It's very, very cold. So you cannot touch this with your bare hands. You could really, really hurt yourself. You could even maybe get frostbite. So David, okay. I'm gonna give you that bag. I got two bags there. at the store this morning. Yeah, so you're gonna take it out and you're gonna put it in the warm water. Ooh. We'll see what starts to happen. There we go. Wow, look yeah. That. Yep. Look and I that. hope they can get the sound effects too, because that's when you really start to hear the. Oh, man. oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Good. Like a like a witch's cauldron <laughs> brewing over there. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna put a. Gonna put do you have a little chunk? There? Put the little chunk in the little bowl. And maybe it will come over the top more. Yeah, Look there we go, that. there we go, there we go. So I'm gonna put my block in here. Hey, we should have brought a stir. We could have made some. But you feel how cold that is? It's, even with the, even with the, you really gotta make sure that you have good hand protection with this because if you touch it with your bare skin, it could really, really hurt you. So, so what's happening here? So our dry ice, our frozen carbon dioxide is going through a process called sublimation. And that is when an object goes from a, a frozen state, a solid state, to a gaseous state. So we've got carbon dioxide gas here. Normally, if we have an ice cube or something like that, frozen water, it melts. So it just goes from solid to liquid. This is going from solid to gas, which is really cool. You don't see that every day. And yeah, so this is how you can make your own Halloween fog machine. Spooky, spooky, spooky. So. This is just a lot of fun. Sublimation. So, sublimation happening right in front of your eyes. And it's safe, it's safe to touch. I would still keep the gloves on if the, mm -hmm. the kiddos want to touch it because it's very, very cold. Um, all right, so let's try. We have another little aspect to this experiment that we're gonna try. So remember we said we needed shoelaces yeah, and dish soap. So we've soaked our shoelaces in dish soap here. What we're going to do is pull out the shoelace and we're gonna kind of rinse it off a little bit. So it's been in some dish soap and a little bit of water. Once again, more adult supervision. Yes, Glad definitely for this whole thing. So if you have a little bit of the dish water on your hands, go around the perimeter of your container like this. Wait, you're gonna have to stick your hand in the jar. My hand's too big. <laughs> your hand's too big. <laughs> <laughs> you may need the, the little hands for this. This is safe for the kiddos to do. Um, so when I when I said don't don't put your hand all the way in there, but it is it's safe to do it like this. But don't let the kiddos stick their hands all the way in. So you're going to take some of the dish water and put it around the perimeter of your container here. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to take your shoelace. You may need to wring it out just a little bit. So what we're going to try to do is make a bubble on top of this gas and trap the gas and see what happens. And I did test this out. It was kind of hit or miss. So you want to lay the shoelace flat on one end and then bring it across. I David, yours there. might be working. There's something happening. I don't think mine, mine didn't work. So There's sublimation. <laughs> the sublimation is still happening. David, yours might be. What did I do? 
yours kind of worked a little bit. So this might not work, but if you can, if you have a lot of time at home to try this, mm -hmm. you can make a, a bubble on top of the gas and it will kind of bubble up and then eventually it'll pop. Maybe it'll work on the baby. I'll try this real quick. Okay. Oh yeah, see it's working on the baby guy. Oh, it created and then a bubble it, down inside the bowl? Yeah, and then it yeah. pops, pops, and then all of the, the gas will come out, and it's a cool visual thing. Hey, so hey, where, cool. Do you, where do you get dry ice around here? I got it at HEB this morning. Okay. Yeah, so oh, okay. a lot of the stores, there's a container right at the front by the checkouts, and you can just ask them to help you put it in a, okay. bring a cooler or something, but they'll help you out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Don't <laughs> touch. You'll burn your hands. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. <laughs> do more of that, surface. David. Just, kinda, <laughs> just get it going. More <laughs> cool. spooky experiments and things to do on KSAT Kids on KSAT. Happy Halloween, guys. Yes, yeah. happy Halloween. Thank you so much. That's My super hands are all cool. Now, though. <laughs> yes, they are. I'm going to keep trying this. All right. Let us know how the bubble goes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to take video. My little one's going to be like, I want to do that now. But good I to know. know, at least uh, right at HEV. So yeah, that's not good, too bad. good to know.